Hey everybody, Michael here. In today's video, we're going to discuss about grids and guidelines. So, if you haven't seen the first video yet, go ahead and make sure that you watch it. I'm going to put the link down in the description box below so you could watch it. Okay, so let's go to the new topic, which is grids. So grids, similar to guidelines, you could use them as your references. So, what you are seeing right now are called grids. Those little boxes that you could see over here, those are called grids. In order to make your grids visible, you could go to view, go to show, and make sure that you have grid selected. And that would make your grids visible. If you want to customize your grids in terms of sizes, colors, all you need to do is go here to preferences, go to guides, grids, and slices, and just select the color that you want. For instance, you want to do yellow, or even if you want a custom color, let's think, change this one to a little bit. Something orange or near to that color, I guess. Hmm, this would do. And if you want to change the grid line every like two inches, in my case, or one inches, or by pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, and so on, you can just apply it here. Okay, so. Similar to guidelines, like what I said, you could use this as your reference. So, for instance, we're going to add here a border. But before we do that, how about this? Use the grids in order to crop this image. Okay, that should snap. And here, that should snap. And there we go. Now, let's try adding a border. We're having here the rectangle tool. And over here, let's just add here, and that should do the trick. I guess 25 px should do, or something like 38. Hmm, too big. 35. That should do the trick. And now let's add a text over here. So we select the text tool. Go back here. And how about on this area, let's add a text from here to here. Let's type here like coffee hour. Okay, let's just expand a little bit and apply. And let's add a text right here below. So there we go. Let's align it to the grid. And let's type here, for instance, coffee. And let's. There we go. Coffee for the night owls. And let's change this one to a font like Avenue. Avenue Light. Let's increase the font to like 45. Whoa. There we go. How about a little bit smaller, like 30? There we go. And let's make it. And there we go. And that should do it. How about we add a little bit design right here by adding a leaf. So this would do. And I'm just going to inverse this image. But first I'm going to rasterize it. Inverse. And let's add this leaf to this area. Okay, that should do it. And now transform it horizontally and here. And there we go. We made a simple banner. 
So that's all for now guys. I hope you could do something better with the recent guidelines. So as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.